Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to Backstage Pass. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of Marvel and one of its most enigmatic villains, Mephisto. Known as the Marvel Universe's version of the devil, Mephisto has been the subject of speculation in many recent MCU projects. Created by the legendary duo of Stan Lee and Sal Basima, the character first appeared in Silver Surfer Hash 8 back in 1968. Since then, he has tormented various heroes, tempting them with offers that always come at a horrific price. Throughout Marvel's history, Mephisto has been the catalyst for numerous pivotal events. He transformed Johnny Blaze into the Ghost Rider created the shape-shifting demon Blackheart, and even played a crucial role in erasing Spider-Man's marriage to Mary Jane Watson in the infamous storyline One More Day. As we anticipate his long-awaited MCU debut, let's look back at his earlier cinematic appearance. Before the Marvel Cinematic Universe took root with Iron Man in 28, Mephisto was brought to life on the big screen in 2007's Ghost Rider, a film where the talented Peter Fonda portrayed the iconic villain. In this Sony release, Nicolas Cage starred as Johnny Blaze, who makes a Faustian deal with Mephisto in an effort to save his father from cancer. While Fonda's performance was memorable, the film didn't quite do justice to the character, portraying him in a somewhat goofy light and steering away from his classic comic appearance. Despite its commercial success, Ghost Rider was considered an outlier in Sony's Marvel lineup, and while a sequel was released in 2011, Fonda did not reprise his role. Instead, Ciaran Hines took over the character, but sadly, the sequel faced poor reviews and box office performance. Interestingly enough, after this misstep, Marvel Studios managed to regain the rights to Ghost Rider in 2013. Though we have seen Ghost Rider in the MCU, such as Diego Luna's portrayal in Agents of S.H.I.E.D., Mephisto remains unintroduced until now. Recently, there have been tantalizing hints of Mephisto's return. In a conversation with Backstage Pass during a promotional event for Deadpool and Wolverine, director Sean Levy and star Ryan Reynolds mentioned considering Mephisto as a potential villain. Ultimately, the story shifted towards using Cassandra Nova instead, which better aligned with the film's themes and characters. As we look towards the future, there's exciting news on the horizon. The MCU miniseries, Ironheart, is set to debut soon, featuring Dominique Thorne as Ryrie Williams, also known as Ironheart. What? The show will explore the clash of science and magic, featuring dark supernatural forces. In a thrilling turn, reports suggest that Sacha Baron Cohen is in line to portray Mephisto himself, hinting at a more faithful adaptation of the character we all know and love. So, as we await the official introduction of Mephisto in the MCU, the speculation continues. Will Cohen's interpretation bring a closer resemblance to the devilish figure from the comics? Only time will tell, but we can't help but be excited for what lies ahead. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this deep dive into Marvel's Mephisto and his cinematic journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more Backstage Pass content.